All right, I'm meteorologist John Dawson. This is the Fox 26 tropical update produced just for you folks on YouTube. Thanks for finding us here. As always, as you hear all of your other YouTube channels always say, feel free to hit that subscription button if you haven't already done so. It would be great for you to connect with the Fox 26 channel all of the time. And of course, it's more than just fantastic tropical updates that we have here as far as the content goes. Make sure and get a chance and take a look at one of our nightcaps. It's a brand new show that just started this last week, and it is some great entertainment that you can check out anytime you want right here on YouTube. Now let's dive into the tropics because things are fairly quiet out there, especially in the Gulf of Mexico and in the Caribbean. Just not hardly anything to even look at on that satellite uh, imagery as we look across those two bodies of water. And as we look out to the Atlantic, there was a couple areas of just sort of stormy weather that were watched a little bit by the National Hurricane Center. But at this point, they're just not expecting any of those to turn out to anything within the next five days. So we love it when the National Hurricane Center puts out that messaging that there's no new tropical cyclone formation expected to take place over the next five days. So certainly no complaints there. Quick review of what's been happening in the Atlantic as we've definitely seen uh, 11 named storms so far. That latest one being Carl. Lisa would be the next one uh, to be used if we were to go that direction. And again, some of these have been a little bit more impactful than others, uh, but for the for the most part, unless you've been in Florida, uh, this has been a relatively quiet year. There just hasn't been a whole lot of interaction with land. And again, obviously, Ian is the huge exception to all of that uh, with the impacts. And not just to Florida, I should point out, it's it's to the southeast U.S., but definitely Florida hit the hardest by that particular system. So putting a little bit more detail in what we're talking about, again, 11 storms have been named. We did actually have a, a couple tropical depressions in there that did not develop into a name system. So those tropical depressions, if you'll remember, start off by getting a number and then if it proceeds to grow in strength and organization, it becomes a tropical storm. That's when it gets the name. So we did have a couple other tropical depressions that were thrown in there that not develop into a name storm. And then of those 11, we saw five of those developing into hurricanes. And of those five, two of those became major hurricanes. And when you compare that to an average season, what we'd expect to see in the National Weather Service always uses the last 30 years on record as considered to be the average. So that's why I went ahead and make sure you understand these dates that we're dealing with. What we would normally expect to find over that 30 year average is 14 named storms, seven of those being hurricanes and three of those major hurricanes. So we haven't finished with the year yet. So I, the expectation isn't that these numbers should be matching these numbers yet, but by the end of the year, we would expect at least those to be similar. And the, the surprise somewhat to this or the unexpected turnout so far is that there were expectations that we would definitely see an above average year. So at this point in the year, I was expecting to see these numbers at least by now, uh, if not even higher than those. So there's just been a few uh, sort of curves that have been thrown. A lot of that having to do in the early season with that Saharan dust that's really dominated uh, and that uh, upper level ridge uh, as well over the Atlantic that's kind of just sort of kept a lot of, of storms from forming and kind of just making it deterring a little bit from happening. So if you want to uh, follow uh, me on social media, that would be great. I'm at John Dawson, Fox 26, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I use all of those just a little bit different. And then also I want to encourage you to get the Fox 26 weather app on your phone. Now you don't have to be in the Houston area to take advantage of the Fox 26 weather app, although I would say it's it's much more helpful in the United States. If you're one of our international viewers that are not in the United States, thanks for finding us here on YouTube. Certainly appreciate that. Leave some comments below. I always like to see where people are viewing from uh, and, and when you might be viewing. I do look at those comments occasionally, uh, but if you are in the US, download the Fox 26 weather app. It's fantastic giving you a 10 day forecast. You turn on the follow me function and so even if you're 
traveling around, you'll be able to find out what's happening, where you are, and also if there's any safety concerns, if those alerts from the National Weather Service need to get to you, you can manage how you receive those and also receive those for wherever you might be traveling. Thanks for finding us again today. We'll be back here tomorrow in the afternoon with another tropical update.